guys, so I wanted to do another Naked 3 look, but this time kind of do it in a smoky fashion where you went from really dark at the lash line and then kind of blend it up into nothing to the brow. I really love wearing this look and I really like the way it kind of emphasizes your eyes. And if you would like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. First off, I'm starting out with L'Oreal's Texture Perfector Primer. Now I'm going to go in with my Graftobian HG Corrector. This is in the shade Extra Highlight. And I'm going to use this to highlight under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, a little bit of my forehead, and my Cupid's bow. And then I'm going to use my Vichy Derma Finish Foundation to correct the acne scarring on my cheeks right here, where I don't want the extra highlight, but I still want coverage. So I'm going to go in with the Vichy Derma Finish first and go in with the highlighter second. And for both of these, I will be using an Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. I'm going to leave a lot of this unblended, just so you know, because I will be going in with my foundation on a sponge later. To get right under my eye and also on the inner corner, I'm going to use this domed shadow brush by Real Techniques. And for foundation, I will be mixing the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum, and this is in the shade 52 Vanilla, and my Vichy Derma Finish Foundation in 15 Opal. This shade is actually a bit dark for me, but if you blend it down your neck enough, then no one will notice. And then right when I'm down to the excess on the sponge, I'm just going to kind of blend the under eye highlight in with the foundation. To set my cheek area, I will be using my MAC Studio Fix Powder. I also set my nose with this powder because I find just a little bit of extra coverage on my nose really goes a far way. It just makes everything look really even and seamless on my nose. For the rest of my face and under my eyes, I will be using my Lorac Baked Perfecting Powder. When you set under eye concealer, you want to make sure that you look up. Your eyes are creased when you're looking down, so you want to look up. I also set my eyelid with powder to prep for eyeshadow. For bronzer, I'll be warming up the face with the Sun Bunny Too Faced Bronzer. And for blush, I'll be using my L'Oreal True Match Blush in Tender Rose. I have been obsessed with this stuff lately. I cannot put it down. And lastly, I will be highlighting with my Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I'll be using an eyeshadow to contour today, and I'll be using this taupe shade from the Physicians Formula Matte Eyeshadow Quad in Quartz Quartet. Since I already bronzed, I'll just be placing this right on the cheekbone, and I don't have to blend it out too much since I already have some bronzed color there. I'll also be taking that right around the edge of the face. 
All right, that is it for the face. The face is done. Let's move on to the eyes. To start out, I'm going to take the shade Soft Linen Focus by Bare Minerals, and I'm going to start with that all over the lid and crease. I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take the lightest pink matte shade in the Naked 3 palette, this shade right here called Limit. And I'll just be taking that right in the lower crease. Now I'm going to take that darker pink matte shade. This is the color Nooner that is right here and I'm going to take that and pat that on the lid. You don't want to take it this color any higher than your actual crease line. So to find your actual crease line just relax your brow and look straight ahead or, or up in a mirror and right where the fold happens on your eye you want to keep it below at or below that. I'm going to go back to my fluffy blending brush and the color Limit, that lighter pink color, and just blend this all together. I'm going to start with the lighter color Limit and put that under the eye, and I'm going to go almost all the way under my eye. And I'm going to take it out and kind of connect it to the shadow we already have going on. And I'm going to bring it out just slightly at the very edge on the very outer part of my under eye. I'm going to take that same little brush and the darker pink color and do the same thing but just keep it on the outer edge this time. And I'm going to kind of connect it up here just like I did the lighter shade. I'm going to take that original soft linen focus shade, that kind of topish gray shade, and I'm just going to blend all of this up and make sure it all looks seamless. For liner I'm going to work one eye at a time and I'm going to start out with my Rimmel Scandalize. This is the Cole Kajal pencil in black. This doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of run it along your upper lash line. Try to keep it really thin and a small amount on the inner part and then thicken it up as you go out. Now I'm going to take a smudge brush and I'm going to take the next to the darkest color in this palette. This is the color Dark Side. It's just a dark kind of shimmery plummy shade. And I'm going to take that on the smudge brush and make sure it's pressed into the brush so that it doesn't fall out on my makeup and just kind of smudge this color out. And I'm building up that outer part just a little bit, thickening it up and kind of taking it out to the edge of my eyeshadow. Not really a cat eye, but it's kind of an extended liner type of thing. And I'm going to take the very excess of what is on this smudge brush and I'm going to rub it on the very outside, keep it extremely close to the lashes this time. And now I'm going to do the other eye. And then once you have the other eye done, just make sure they're both pretty even with the intensity of the color and kind of the angle of the overall liner shade. All right, so that is pretty much the eyes completed. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small little detail brush. All right, now I'm just going to highlight under my brow bone and on the inner corner of my eye. Alright, now I'm going to do my brows because I think I look a bit strange with eyeliner and no brows on. I'm going to start off with the Milani Brow Wax. This stuff is amazing. 
using the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow in shade Taupe. It's the lightest shade. All right, now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara and I will be right back. All right, now that I have mascara on, I'm going to tight line my upper waterline. And I'm going to put this Rimmel Scandalize in Nude on my lower waterline just to keep things bright. Okay, now to prime my lips, I'm going to be using the Pop Beauty Lip Magnet. I've been using this stuff more often lately and I have to say I really love it. It has a really smooth texture, but it's not slick like a lip balm, so it gives a really good surface for lip pencils to glide onto and stick onto as well. And it kind of neutralizes your lip color, so if you're like me and fair skinned and have a darker lip color naturally, then it helps kind of counteract that. To line my lips, I will be using the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner, and this is the color Addiction. I have been obsessed with brownie pink nudes, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> It's the mailman. <laughs> I'm going to use this new lipstick I got from Milani. This is in the color Teddy Bear. It's a gorgeous pinky nude, like I said, I've been obsessed with. That uh, lipstick's actually pretty matte. On the center of my lips, I will be using the color Nude List by Maybelline. The last thing I'm going to do is coat my lashes one more time in mascara. This is Prestige My Biggest Lashes. When you have a smoky eye, I like going heavy on the mascara or even wearing some falsies because you want a lot of contrast between your lashes and the color on your lid or the color behind them. So the darker the color on your lid, the bigger and fuller you want your lashes to stand out. And because I want to, I'm going to add a little bit of gloss to the very center. This is by Napoleon Purtis. This is the Lip Veil in In the Flesh. And so this is the completed look. I really hope you liked this. I already did a look with the Naked 3 palette, so I figured I would just do another look kind of similar, but just with similar colors, but in different orders and a different way on the lid. And obviously I've been loving this lip color lately. I cannot get away from the brownie pinks. I actually really like it on my fair skin. I think it's a nice contrast. I really hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching and so much for your time and I will see you in my next video. Bye.